Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best video player to use with Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Architect, or Thrive Based website, heck, with WordPress in general. And I'm also going to show you how to use video hosting for those videos that will cost you literally only pennies per month. So let's dive in and take a look at this awesome tool and how I use it on my own website already. Okay, so right now we are in my latest course for Thrive Theme Builder using Thrive Apprentice, and I want to show you how I'm already using this video tool for all of my lessons. So first, let's just go to a particular section. We can jump into how to create your core templates here. Let's just take a look at building a homepage using pre-built templates. So in this lesson, just like in all of my lessons, I am using an embedded video player directly in the lesson it looks great, it's fully responsive, and it allows me to provide tons of video features in this video player. For example, we have the ability to adjust the playback speed. So if I'm talking too slowly, you can listen to me at 1.5, 1.75, 1 however fast you think you wanna to listen to me, you can, or you can slow it down if you think I'm talking too quickly. We also have a great ability to use picture in picture as well as full screen. We can fast forward 10 seconds, rewind 10 seconds. And even when we start playing this particular video, let me go ahead and mute that. When we start playing this particular video and let's say we pause it, we go to another lesson here. I'm just gonna jump into, let's say, properly configuring your site using the wizard. And then let's go back to that lesson that we were in that was under our core templates. And you can see here that it automatically remembered where we were, the playhead left off right where we left off and it's ready to pick up and continue. So that is an awesome video playback feature that is not available in most video tools. All right, I think I've buried the lead long enough. Let's take a look at what this tool is, how you can get it for yourself and how you can start hosting videos and playing videos in your Thrive Apprentice site for literally pennies per month. All right, the tool I'm talking about is Presto Player. You can get this at convology.com forward slash Presto. I've got a link on the screen as well as in the description of this video. I highly recommend you check that out. This video player is fantastic. As you can see here, there is a video playing. There's an overlay, click here to play, which is fantastic. There are subtitles that uh, can play along silently with the video. And then if we press play, it's going to start from the beginning. So it's a really great way to catch people's attention. You can use this uh, in your courses or just in your blog on your website or on your homepage. It's a great way to catch attention. Let's go through some of these features really quick. And then I really want to dive in and show you how I'm using this tool and why I'm converting all of my courses and videos over to Presto Player. So I wanna go down here uh, to this section here. So there's a couple features that really stood out to me and made me want to make the switch. Um, the first one is private video. You have the ability to protect these videos that you're playing so that only people who are logged in can see them. This is fantastic if your courses are like mine where they are uh, private for students only. You also have the ability to have multiple sources for your videos. This means they can be hosted on places like YouTube, uh, Vimeo, um, on your own server if you really wanted to, or where I host mine, and I'm gonna show you that here in just a second, where I only pay pennies a month. I'm talking right now for all of my courses, I'm spending like six cents a month for video hosting and playback. That's like, that's amazing. It also has some amazing integrations. Presto Player can integrate with Uncanny Automator so that you can run automations when people play videos. Um, there's lots of integrations there as well. Um, there's video chapters. So just like on a YouTube video, when um, you watch, um, you, you see like little on the playhead, there's like little sections. Well, this has chapters as well. Um, they're really cool. Um, it has the ability to be a sticky player when you scroll down. Thrive has that feature as well. So like, let's say uh, you scroll halfway down a page, the video is gonna follow you. Um, it's pretty good. It has some really great performance there. Um, Introducing really soon the ability to choose the playback quality, which I think is awesome. Uh, you can choose the playback speed as we went over at the beginning. They've got some really interesting analytics for video. So you kind of can take a look at what's happening with people watching your videos. This is honestly, I haven't seen a platform quite so good, um, particularly one that's hosted on your actual website. And this last feature, this is the key. So the BunnyNet integration is how you can host your videos and 
play them and stream them through Presto Player for only pennies a month. And after I walk you through Presto Player, I'm going to show you my actual Bunny, uh, Bunny Net account so that you can see exactly what I'm spending for all of my courses and how that works. Okay, so here we are in what's called the Media Hub. This is actually on my real membership site where my students log in and take my courses. These are all of the videos right here that I have uploaded. You can see that all of them for my course are running through Presto Player. Um, I think that's really important. This is um, not just me um, trying to hype you up and get you to go buy a product. This is actually me being passionate about a, a product that I am using myself. Um, as the as the creator of this product, Presto Player, he says he eats his own dog food. Um, I love that saying. It's it's it basically means. Um, look, you believe in it, you use it yourself, you're not just pushing the product. So let's take a look at how I have this set up and some of the features and take a little bit more of a deep dive. So if we wanna add a new video, all we have to do is uh, click add new, but I'm gonna jump in and take a look at a product I've already uploaded um, and show you some of the settings that I've configured there. So on this particular video, this is one of my WooCommerce um, bonus videos for my course. Let's just click edit. And the way that Presto Player works is that it opens it up in what should look very familiar. This basically is Gutenberg. So if you are familiar with WordPress and how that works, you're gonna feel right at home. Nothing is too jarring or too confusing. Now to edit a video that you have already uploaded, you click on it like any element you would in Gutenberg. And then you're gonna get this contextual area on the right hand side that's going to let you edit this video and edit some of the settings. Now, as you can see, I do have the video being served through the BunnyNet CDN. I have uploaded that to BunnyNet, and I'll show you how simple that is in just a second here. Um, but you have the ability next, if I wanted to, I could set chapters. So this is kind of like what you would do in YouTube where you say at this particular timestamp, I want it to be called this section. And there's actually a really good example of that right here. Um, so there are chapters here, so for example, um, this chapter is about using chapters, this chapter is about using video options, um, and, and so on. So you can see that's a really neat uh, implementation. And then there's this button that says show chapters. And when you click it, you can actually see them listed here. Um, how awesome, how awesome would that be for like a workshop or a course? Um, it's just such a cool feature. Um, I need to get more organized with my course video so that I can make something awesome like this. Um, but if your video is longer, maybe like this video is 30 minutes. Um, if your video were longer, I would highly recommend you use the show chapters option. That's so cool. Um, and then again, um, you can see here the playback speed. So what a great player. Um, now let's go through some more of these settings here. You can do the muted autoplay preview with that toggled on. That's, um, let's jump back to this page here. That's what's happening up at the top. Basically the video is playing in the background and it's muted. So it's completely silent. It's not being blocked by any, any browsers or anything like that. And then you can choose autoplay, which is kind of the opposite of that, right? Autoplay really does just start the video. Um, you can choose play inline. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but like on my iPhone, if I click on a video, sometimes the video just plays on the page or sometimes the video will like take up the entire phone screen and almost like it jumps into the phone's player. So you have the ability to play it inline um, on the page instead of opening it up full screen. So that's an option available to you. And then you have the ability here to um, basically decide the performance preference that you have. And we have three options. We can optimize for video playback speed so the video plays the best it can. We can optimize for page load speed so that the page loads faster rather than focusing on the video being ready to serve. Or we can go really extreme. And um, honestly, I've not used that feature, but I'm just going to assume that it hyper focuses on waiting until the entire page has loaded before it then addresses the video. So I think what that means is that um, if someone were to load a page and then really quickly press the play button, um, if you had this chosen, there might be a little bit of a delay. So I like that there's options here. I just left mine for video playback speed. Um, poster image, um, if you click select on that, what that's going to do is open up um, your ability to choose like a thumbnail. So that's kind of neat. Um, and then this is, this is a really cool area and I wanna spend just a second and talk about this. This is the presets. So with your video presets, you can choose to have every time you upload a video, what preset it gets, your default, your course, your simple or your minimal, or you can add an entirely new preset. 
which I want to show you that interface as well. Now, what's cool about this is that once you've chosen a preset, so let's say on all of my videos, this play button was red, okay? And if I decided that I wanted to change, and I, and I use that red button on every video, well, if I wanted to change that button to Convology Blue, I don't have to go back into every single video. As long as all of the videos use the same preset, all I do is change the settings on the preset and they will change on every single video. That's a huge time saver. Um, that was, I think, the second option that really resonated with me because if there's one thing I hate, it's having to go into literally every video embed to make changes. So I thought that was super neat and they come with a few options to choose from. Um, and I want to click on this add new preset option to show you what's available. But real quick, I just want to show you global branding. Um, this is site wide. So if I change this here, it's going to change it on literally every video. This is kind of like the theme of the player and I've chosen it to be Convology Blue. Um, but you have that ability and you also have the ability to set what size your logo will be in the bottom right. So for example, if I make this bigger, you'll see the Convology logo is getting bigger and bigger all the way up until the size of the image. Um, I've got mine down around like 50 or 60. Um, and that's really neat. I like that. So then the last thing on this section is you do have the ability to do custom CSS. I haven't played around with that. Um, honestly, I'm assuming you can do some, maybe some customization of the player if you know CSS. But what I want to show you now is the new preset here. This, um, this is kind of, this was kind of like mind blowing when I first saw it. So you can create your own style. Like if I wanted to create a new preset and call this um, demo preset, any video that chooses the demo preset is going to adopt all of these settings. So you have things like um, changing the play button. So if you, instead of just this little one in the bottom left, we can turn on a, a large center of the screen. We can give people the ability to rewind or not. We can give people that small play button in the bottom left or not. We can choose fast forward or not. There's a progress bar down at the bottom, like you would normally see in a video. You can turn that off, like if, if you didn't want people to see how much was left in the video. I'm sure there's a reason to do that. You can turn off the current timestamp, um, make it so they can't adjust the volume. Don't ever do that. <laughs> you can change the speed of the video or not. Um, you can turn on uh, the picture in picture function, um, which is neat. And then the ability for full screen effects, uh, full screen or not. And then if we jump over to the behavior tab, um, there is the ability to auto hide the controls. So um, if for example, the video is playing, if your mouse isn't in the video, the controls go away. I love that. Um, and this is um, what I showed you earlier. It's the save play position. So if someone watches 50% of your video or they watch until the, the 29th minute and the 12th second, this will remember where they left off with cookies and they can come back and pick up where they left off. Um, such an awesome feature if you have longer videos. And then there's the sticky on scroll. And then there's some YouTube settings here. So yes, you can use Presto Player to completely replace the YouTube video player on your website. Um, this is what I am actually doing on this very video. Um, at least if everything goes right, I'm not just gonna have a video embed on my blog. So if you wanna see it in action for this video, um, head over to uh, convology.com and this actual video is playing, um, is a YouTube video playing through Presto Player. Um, lastly, let's take a look at style. This is where you can choose to hide the logo and then you can choose the um, rounded corners on the video. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. Like rounding the corners makes it just a little more polished rather than just harsh corners. Um, I'm a fan of that. And then if you wanted to change the caption style, because yes, you can upload captions. So that's just a quick look at all of the options that are available. A couple of things that are coming in the near future, um, we're gonna have the ability to have um, in video, like calls to action. And there's just a really great roadmap of things coming up. Now, um, a couple things, I wanna show you what it's like to add a video and kind of walk through that process. And then I wanna show you BunnyNet, which is how you can host these videos rather than use just YouTube or Vimeo, definitely rather than using Vimeo and paying through the roof. First, let's take a look at adding a new video and kind of what that process and that interface looks like. Okay, so here's the interface for adding a video into Presto Player. So the first thing we can do is give it a name. So I'm gonna call this one Demo Video. And the next option you have here is to choose basically where you're hosting your video. 
You can choose right now a video file from pretty much anywhere, YouTube, Vimeo, and BunnyNet. We're gonna choose BunnyNet, but you could also choose YouTube and it would pretty much be the same. Um, in fact, why don't I just show you both of those in case that interests you. All right, so here in our demo video, let's go ahead and choose the first option. Let's first show um, how YouTube works. I'll click on YouTube. I'll paste in the URL for the video and click add video. So clicking on this video, I'm gonna help go ahead and choose the course preset because that's the preset that I've been using. I could add more presets if I wanted to. And then I'm going to click publish and publish again. And now this video is live, but let's go ahead and do uh, a few quick little tweaks here and kind of uh, set some video chapters to show you how that works um, with YouTube. So let's have the uh, let's have the 20 second mark. So we'll do zero colon 20 and have this be, I don't know, we'll call this our introduction. Let's add a second one here. Let's call it uh, a minute. 30 and have this be uh, showcase and then two we'll have this be I don't know just call it chapter three let's add one more at the five minute mark and call that chapter four just to give us an idea of what's going on so there's our chapters now let's go ahead and click update on that and let's go ahead and now go over to our uh, media hub and grab the short code for this video and I'll show you how we add that to a page. Okay, so that was pretty easy. We just jumped over to our media hub here and let's just copy this short code and click control C. And now let's go into a page of, let's just call it Thrive Architect and I'll show you how easy it is to add this. So here we are in Thrive Architect. This, this is a page on my site, but this could easily be a uh, blog post or something else. All we have to do is add a text element and then paste in our short code. I'm going to center the short code just for good measure. I'm going to press save and then preview. All right, so look how easy that was now. We have the actual player directly on the screen here. A couple things I wanna point out. It has my Convology Blue play button. We have the chapters. If I hover over them, intro, showcase, chapter three and chapter, I guess we didn't call it something, we just called it chapter. Down in the bottom right here, we have the show chapters button and we have our chapters listed right here to what we set. Um, you'll see that it plays through and we can jump to different chapters and works terrifically. Um, so that's how you use this for YouTube. Okay, so I am back on the uh, upload or create a video on the video hub and I'm going to call this one BunnyNet Demo and I'm going to choose BunnyNet. Now, normally, if this was my first time setting this up, it would want me to paste in my API key. They've got really good documentation for Presto Player, so this shouldn't be too confusing at all. Um, but basically, once you've got your API key in, you get to choose, do you want this to be a private video? If so, you toggle that on, and the video is only accessible to those who are logged in. Perfect for courses. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one public for now, and I'm going to choose add or select video. Now, what you see here is where we can upload a video to be used um, for our bunny net. So I'm just gonna drag in a test video that I have and let go. And it's uploading this video, storing it in my bunny net account, not 100% not in my WordPress site. This is not in my WordPress site. This is entirely inside of BunnyNet. And it is already here, by the way, it was like instantaneous. This was a 34 megabyte video and I didn't, I really didn't have to wait at all. So click on the video that we uploaded here and then in the bottom right, click choose. And now we've got our video here uh, ready to go. But I'm gonna do a couple of things this time. I'm going to choose muted autoplay because I wanna show you how cool and easy that is to implement. And I'm going to show muted preview overlay which is our ability to add something on top of this, kind of like, uh, well, exactly like I showed you before. So let's add our muted preview overlay, and I'm going to add in this uh, click to play. So now what we can do is using this little control here on the right hand side, we can actually shrink it down and then control where we want it to go. So if we wanna make it easy for people to click to play, look how cool that looks. And again, Super, super easy. And then we can choose presets. I'm gonna leave it on default just for this, um, but let's go ahead and publish that. Great, 
jump back over to our media hub. And again, we're doing this in real time. There's no like jump cuts in this video. There's our short code. Let's copy that. And let's go over to our page that we just made. Let's go ahead and add in our short code that we just copied, center it, save our work and preview. And look at that. Look how cool that is. That is the video that in under five seconds, we uploaded to BunnyNet and we added a silent autoplay. We added a silent autoplay overlay so that it basically um, let people know it was basically like a call to action to play the video. That's pretty cool. Um, but that's so freaking awesome. Imagine if you this was your video on your website, people are gonna click on that. Um, so now we could just click play and now it's like a normal player, right? Started from the beginning um, and it looks terrific. And like, this is, you know, a 30 megabyte video, we can jump around anywhere we want and it performs perfectly. So I'm not a video file. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge about how video hosting works, but I've got entire courses running on this thing. Some videos 20 plus minutes long and there's no delays instantaneous. So that I think is alone enough of a reason for you to jump in and want to get Presto Player. But I want to show you now the cost of using BunnyNet, which BunnyNet when paired with Presto Player, uh, I think is the winning solution for hosting video with your Thrive Apprentice course. All right, so here we are in my BunnyNet account and I want to show you a couple things. Um, in the last 11 days, I've used 4.6 uh, gigabytes of bandwidth. I've served a bunch of requests and I've had some cache uh, hit rate, whatever that means. Again, I'm not technical. I just installed the thing and it worked. Um, so you can see here, I have put, I filled a balance of $5 and 89 cents. Um, this was, I think, I think like months and months and months ago. I've used, by the way, I've used BunnyNet. Um, if you check my blog, you'll see I have a blog post on how to make your Thrive Themes website faster. You'll see that I've used BunnyNet for over six months. So I put $10 in six months ago, maybe more than that now. And there, there, so here's the catch. There is a $1 minimum per month. So every month you have to pay at least $1 to bunny net, but let's take a look at my actual usage. I've used three cents, three cents of usage. And for my videos, I've used 0 0.0091 cents. So yes, it in real time, so not only do I have videos hosted on BunnyNet and I'm playing entire courses, I'm paying pennies to do so. And taking it a step further, I have an e-commerce website that gets, I think like 17,000 visitors a month. And I have Convology, my, um, uh, my wife's e-commerce website, um, and then a couple other just like brochure, small sites on there. And this month it's cost me three cents for all these requests. So I don't know, uh, that that to me is a no brainer. So yes, while, while the, again, the cost is like five cents or four cents, I still have to pay a dollar a month. So I'm probably going to end up spending Five, using five cents a month, but it's gonna cost me a dollar. So I think that's the transparency there. So bottom line for $1 a month, $1, you can use BunnyNet. Combine that with Presto Player. Um, let's take a look at what that costs. So let's just go to the buy now option. Okay, so when combined with Presto Player here, you can see that for one site, it's $69 a year, uh, $99 for 25 sites, per year, um, but there's also this lifetime deal. So for $299, not in this video, but I'm creating a blog post to go along with this video, like a companion write-up. If you go over there, I'll put a link in the description, convology.com, you'll see a comparison to the cost of Vimeo and Wistia. You'll see that I think that this lifetime deal is a no-brainer. This is what I got, by the way. I have the lifetime deal. Actually, I have two of them. So because all, all my client sites. So for a lifetime deal and three years of their premium support, um, you can have 20, 25 sites on this. That, that to me, no brainer. So for $299 and a dollar a month, you can basically, all the courses you can throw at this thing have a fantastic video player. 
So the reason I'm kind of going on and on now in this video is like nearly 30 minutes long is because I'm always passionate about finding solutions that work. And I'm passionate about helping people create solutions that are going to save them money. So when you combine the idea that this just works dead simple with this is actually economical for my business, then the two together are a no brainer. So like I said, I have converted entire courses over to Presto Player already. Um, it felt so good <laughs> to take those videos off of Vimeo. I have two more courses to go um, and then I'm done and I'm canceling my Vimeo account and going to save money every single year, which is awesome. So that's Presto Player. Check it out. If you're interested, go ahead and visit convology.com slash Presto and get it for yourself and have an awesome player on your website and save money in the long run. If you have any questions, like I said, I have converted, I think I'm at 80 something videos right now on, on Presto Player. Um, if you have any questions, I think I know a lot about it now um, and I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. And I hope this helps you out. Hope this helps you out with your courses uh, and with saving money for your business. So this was Doug from Convology and I'll see you next time.